Did you ever wish to work with Adobe files directly in the browser without having it installed on your machine or even better, without even having to download the file? With the annotation feature in SharePoint, you can now highlight and mark up the most important part of your documents. And best of all, it's free. All you have to do is to enable it. Uh, so what we're going to go through is what are annotations inside of SharePoint and OneDrive, what can you do with them, and a few helpful tips when you're working with annotations and files that you have today. So what are annotations inside of SharePoint and OneDrive as part of Content AI? So what annotations do, they actually enable you to view, highlight, and comment directly in the browser on files such as PDF that are stored in SharePoint and OneDrive. So I can open up a file in Teams, I can open up a file in OneDrive, I can open a file in my SharePoint document library, and I can take that PDF file and provide annotations on top of that file directly in the browser. I don't need to, as Vlad said, we don't need to download it, I don't need to work with Acrobat, I can work in the browser to mark up my documentation, my documents. So what it looks like is if you once you've enabled uh, the Microsoft pay, the 365 Pay As You Go services, uh, that you will get a new. You open up a file, and the file viewer in the browser will give you a new little icon that looks like a pen, a little, little pen icon. So once it's enabled, it will show up in all of your documents across SharePoint, OneDrive, and Teams. So what you get when you, when you click that, it gives you a show annotations option and hide annotations option depending on it. So by default, you don't see annotations, you don't have that option. Uh, you want to provide your team education on how this works uh, so they know that they, it is possible for them to do it.